Russ, watch out. Did you make room for daddy? No, the battery's gonna die, are you kidding? Hey guys, so this here is our Q&A slash, oh, slash giveaway video. Yay! So in this video, we're gonna be answering questions, some of the questions we've been getting from people, they sent them to us or they've asked us in person and we figured we'd just do a video answering all the questions about van life and what we're doing and all of that stuff. And if you stick around to the end, we're gonna give away the details for the giveaway. And there's some pretty cool stuff to be won and since we're not a very big channel yet, the odds of winning are actually pretty good. So. <laughs> So one of the big questions we get all the time is actually about this guy right here, Mr. Russ. And people are worried about where he's going to sleep and how he's going to like life on the road. And Russ loves spending time outside, so. One person said, where is Russ going to play and where's Russ going to pee and poop? Well, he pees and poops outside. So, and before it was like, a battle of the, oh, I don't want to let him out. You let him out. Now you just reach over and open, open the door. Open the door and he'll and just run out. That's it. And, and he'll probably love it. And yeah. then whereas he's going to play. The world is Russ's, the world is play Russ's playground. Yeah. He gets to play wherever his heart desires. And then he'll he probably sleeps sleep. either on the bed with us, but we also have a really big bed for him here. He sleeps in a kettle right now but I think he'll get used to sleeping Just sleeping in the van. on the ground in the van, like in a bed, like in a dog bed on the ground yeah. in the van. Cause Which is the same exact comfort he has right now. Yeah, so I don't think that he'll be, it'll be any different. Plus he'll be closer to us and he'll honestly probably like that more anyway. Yeah. Another big question is, where are you going to take care of business? Well, not just poop, brush your teeth. Pee, shower, comb your hair, do your laundry. Mm -hmm. The things that you would Where normally do. Where are you guys going to sleep and shower? Where are you showering? Yes. Was the question. We're going to be doing um, Planet Fitness, is it? Probably. When we're in the States, yeah. we'll do Planet Fitness. We're in the States, Fitness. Planet Fitness, and when we're in Canada, Excuse probably me. Fit for Less or Good Life or something. Anyways, gym memberships allow you to use the facilities uh, facilities and a lot of them are 24 hours yeah and they have showers and stuff and then also you can do just like i mean if you're on a road trip like you just go to the bathroom and rest stop so yeah. a lot of times we use the rest stop what we're doing same with like camping if we're paying for a campground we can use all the facilities at like a campground um and there's also community centers in most cities that offer communal showers and yeah. communal bathrooms. So that's one of those things that like, as we're going along, we'll be like, okay, this particular town has more of this or that, yeah. or like Planet Fitness is really accessible here. And in the absolute worst case Ontario, we have what's called a luggable loo. So it's, it's very gross, but it's essentially a portable toilet. It's a poop bucket. It's a poop bucket. It's a bucket that you poop in. And, but it, that and it, makes it sound so gross. It's a poop it's bucket. It's got like liners that go in it. And it does have, it's like a, it's it, like a big Home Depot bucket, but there's actually a little top on it and it like pulls up. It actually looks like it's a It's actually kind of cute. I like it. It's a I very used it old yet. Scott style toilet. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. How are we going <coughs> to fund this trip? Oh yeah, that's a big one. We're still figuring that one out ourselves. I feel like yes. we could do a whole video on that one time. Yeah. Once Some of we our kind ideas, of figure though, it out. Um, delivery, dog walking service, teaching online. Teaching, teaching. online. I will make a video about that eventually. Um, Odd jobs, like Ben said. Um, a lot of people do. Um, I forget what it's called. I read a whole blog on it, where you pretty much like get a job at like a campsite and you only, you work like a certain amount of hours a week and they give you like, hi. <laughs> they give you like free costs of like staying at their campsite. So like, as opposed to making a bunch of money, you're staying at their campsite for free and then you can maybe like- Use the facilities. I think they called it work camping. Yeah. Work amping, work camping. Um, and yeah, you can use their facilities and all that. So that's something we could look into 
when we're in Canada more than the States because we're not going to have like a visa. So we can't necessarily work in the States. We can only work in Canada. So, but another part of this is more of a down the road dream. Ideally, we could for a little bit of extra cash monetize our YouTube and blog and even get some money from affiliate links. Yeah. So that's where like a lot of these videos come in. We're doing this because we want to document everything we're doing. And we like making the videos, but and it would also be cool if we made a little bit of money from it. Oh, that would oh, be cool. Oh, Russ is, Russ is done with the Q&A. Yeah, it'd be cool if we could monetize some of it, but... But in order to do that, we have to have a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. So, subscribe. So, like, when you guys share and when you guys like and comment and have any interaction with the video, good or bad, that helps us a ton because it tells us what we need to work on, especially if you guys are telling us like comments, like we wanna see this. And it also um, helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm not gonna pretend like I know how the whole thing works, but more interaction is better. True. So. Yeah. Um, new question. This camera battery is lasting way longer than I thought it was going to. I'm gonna have time for this. The camera's gonna die. One of my favorite questions I got from my friend Grace was our top five destinations on our bucket list to travel to in the van, which I thought was really cool. So this is funny and cheesy, but when she brought this up, we were <laughs> at the restaurant and our first two were like, we but said them at the like same time. We looked at each other and we were like, I was Alaska. like, Alaska. Alaska, I was like, what's her like top one? We both go, Alaska? Alaska? And then California. Yeah, and so, but then from there on, it's more personalized stuff. But. But those are so, our top destinations. Top two for us is to end up spending like probably a whole summer in Alaska. Would be so cool. And then just like spending a couple months in California because I've I've been to LA and I love LA. Man, it's really like one wanna, of my favorite places. I really want to see Vancouver. And I can go Vancouver. see hashtag Jill from LA. Jill from LA. She's gonna hate me. But then Vancouver. Is all on like there. BC, like yeah, West Coast BC. Canada for sure. Um. We said New York, cause that's on our way home. Yeah, I've I've been in New York like two or I've three times been. now, so it's like whatever to me. But it'd be cool to visit in a van, cause it's less expensive. Um, Anywhere deserty. I'd like to see like um, Utah, like Salt Lake City, Utah area. Where's the Grand Canyon? Arizona. I want to see Nevada. that. Is Nevada? We have lots of geography research to do. We don't know anything. Arizona. Um, also, and also, okay. oh, where's that place? Colorado. I see a lot of videos and pictures of Colorado and it looks so cool. So my top five, I think, Alaska, California, like spending a bunch of time there because California is so cool. And then I love Western Canada. So like BC, Western Canada, Alberta, cause I have family there, Colorado, and like Utah. Mine would be... Alaska, Cali, um, Vancouver, mm -hmm. BC area. Then my last ones would probably be, and this sounds silly, but anywhere with desert. I want to, I want to camp in the desert. That's not silly. It's cool. Everyone camps in the desert. It's yeah. Cool. I, I, I think that would be really cool. I think Utah has deserts. There's a lot of desert. Yeah. New Mexico. Yeah. Everything. That was only four. And then you my said, last one is uh, the destination of... You said New York. New York, yeah. I wanted a flight club. I'm a big sneakerhead, <laughs> so... Okay. We charge the camera. Can I have the blanket? Can I just have some of the blanket? I'm so comfy. Fine. Another question we got was when all my students want a tour of the van because... They're all just like Miss Liz, you're crazy. But the van, the van, the van is not is tour to be built. Is not tour ready, and I don't know if this would work or like if people would even want to do this. But like if you want to, kind of do like an comment, open house. But like an open house, but like just like a meetup. Like people do like van life meetups all the time. But like we live in Windsor and it's not a very van life community based place. But like I don't know if you wanted to come see it, we could even just like go to a park one day and say like, we'll be there from like one to four, come hang out with us and you can come like see the van. Um, and we can just provide minimal amount of snacks. 
Like very, probably no, there won't be snacks. Oh, he's leaving again. Oh. That's a rust butt. Just one minute. Just. Rust butt. We just need a minute. Oh, that's not good. Huh? Get out, sit up. Mm. Ah! We're gonna lose battery again soon. Let's get to work, Liz. We're running out of battery. Okay, um, we didn't have that many more questions. My friend asked when we will be laying out our travel plans. Here's so that, I think we're gonna do a different video showing you guys where we're gonna be, also for our parents to give them peace of mind so they know but, what in the world is San Diego. Um, another question we got was like, when we're Diego. gonna start, when we're gonna leave, like when we're gonna start traveling, I guess, like going, people call it like going on our trip. So when we plan on hitting the road. After um, Christmas. Money. <laughs> and money. So we're thinking we wanna be living in the van in September. But in Windsor. Yes. Because Ben can still be working at Shoppers. City van dwelling. City van dwelling. And I will just be working hopefully like on YouTube and um, doing other dog things. Walking. Dog walking. Dog walking. And just doing money, making money wherever I can because if you know, I don't really have a job in September because the studio's closing. Um, and it's kind of hard to get a teaching job, like a dance teaching job for just like half a year. <laughs> so we're thinking of, can you stop interrupting with your burps? We want to leave in December and we're probably going to go to Florida first. Yes. Because we'll leave right from Detroit, go straight well, down to Florida. Did you say we're doing it in the video? Yeah, but we'll just say a quick one. So we'll go we're down. We're going to do an outline of the states up to Alaska. Pretty much. So like Florida, That's... California, BC, Alaska is our initial goal. And then from there, we have no idea. Everything else is on the table. Yeah. And one more question we got, or a couple questions was pick pancake or waffles? Um... I think we both said waffles. But I'd just like to say if crepes was a contender, crepes would win. That's fair. I think I'd still pick waffles because you can do so much with them. Are you serious? You can do so much with, with crepes. crepes too. And I do love crepes. You can oh. go savory with crepes. Yeah, but that wasn't the question. The you question can go was pancake savory or with waffles. waffles. Yeah, well let's sub I'm subbing pancakes for crepes. Okay. And so it's crepes or waffles and I'm full of I would do on crepes, the crepes then. Side. I would do crepes. Thank you. Yeah. A couple more before before the before it dies. What's the vibe of your van gonna be? Miss you too. Okay, so apparently we're running out of storage, which sucks. So we're gonna have to get a bigger memory card and a external drive. That's part of the hashtag van life, hashtag content creator life, hashtag working for yourself, hashtag boss babes, hashtag Okay, that's done. So the question was what's the vibe of the van gonna be? Um we're thinking like just like very simple, minimal, rustic cottage vibes, right? Yeah, with like a hint of all recycled materials because we're trying not to spend money and we're trying to save the planet. Ooh, that next one hit. Reduce, reduce, recycle. Whoa, we switched sides. Huge thank you to you guys for getting us to a hundred and seven subscribers now we know it seems small but, but that's not small to us yeah that's that's huge it's very helpful and so in the last video we said if we get to 100 by the end of june june we're still in june right we're still in june we're still in june and we're already at 100 that we'll do a giveaway so this is the information for the giveaway we're going to be giving away a like good quality bluetooth speaker the rules for the giveaway are as follows. Number one, subscribe to us on YouTube. Number two, follow us on Instagram. Number three, on the post that pertains to this giveaway, you need to mention two people in the comments so hopefully we can continue to grow. And you can give your, chan your friends a chance to win as well as you. The, all of the details will be on an Instagram post and on our Facebook and in the description of this video. We're very happy that you guys have helped yeah. us. We really like making YouTube videos. Yes. So, on that post that we're going to be putting on Instagram, 
Comment. Hit that ish up, my dude. Like it, follow, subscribe. Giveaway. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Also, let us know if you like the Q&A type video as opposed to the vlog type video. We haven't really defined, like, the type of videos because it's only once a week. But, like, yeah. if you liked the Q&A type, let us know. If you thought it was really boring, let us know. And just suggest uh, if you want to see something happen. Honestly, yeah. Say it. And we'll probably do it. And uh, definitely some van build episodes coming out super soon. We just put one out last week about us like getting some wood. So your boy done made a uh, some stuff. He made me a bed. So uh, that's coming. Okay. Bye guys. See you later. Tainara.